we are back. It's Bolton tonight. Um, just seeing the lineup now. There's been a few changes. Tired legs, you know, we've had a lot of games recently. Lots of defending to do, lots of running, so, you know, changing the legs around there a bit. Um, we're playing a 3 5 2, a 3 4 3. Um, I guess we'll tell when we're out on the pitch and we see the shape. We've got a back three, but those come back in. Um, yeah, it's going to be a tough game, you know, Bolton, a good team, Gilks in goal, great goalkeeper, you know, some will say, why did we let him go when he went to Lincoln, who knows, but you know, he's still doing the business, um, Doyle up top for Bolton as well, you know, we know he's um, a good player, he can put, score goals out of nothing, um, he's not been that prolific this season, so hopefully he's not that prolific tonight either, but yeah, playing a 3-4-3, three, three. yeah, we just need to... Uh, just keep switched on, defend like we can defend and know we can defend, you know. So it should be a good game, really. You know, we've had three good results. Um, you know, playing a Bolton team that, you know, they've been a bit ineffective so far this season, really. I'm sure they'd have been expecting to be higher up the league, the selves. Um, Doyle's there had a great chance, but Doyle's gone for the head and just missed it completely. It's gone over him and um, Doyle's run onto it. And fortunately for Scunthorpe, his shot was wayward. But, you know, we've got to switch on. Kyoto there has had all the time in the world to pick his cross. You know, we've got three men close to him, but not too close. And they just stood and watched him, let him cross it in. They didn't try and close him down or anything. Luckily for us, it's gone them straight through everybody to the back post and the Bolton man's missed it. But we need to switch on, you know. We're five minutes in and, you know, we're, we're, le we're letting him have space. We're missing the ball. Yeah, it's a new system we're playing, but it's still football. You know, we still have a ball that we need to attack and players that need to be tackled. Tired legs, games being played, amount of games being played. But for me, playing a back three doesn't work. Never has worked. You know, um, we don't look comfortable doing it. We don't, and you know, Bedo, he, he, look, he looks uncomfortable in that situation himself. So he's playing on the on the left hand side of the back three but you know he's not looking comfortable for me um but yeah bolton chasing the ball down chasing the players down finding the space finding the good passes the only thing they haven't found yet is the back of the net but the way it's going it's just a matter of time you can sort of see that um yeah it's just frustrating from a comfort perspective you know those last three games we've we've played well you know we've looked good this time round, <laughs> he's not looking that well, but then again, the system's not great for us. Yeah, it's going to be a difficult night, I think. You know, if we can get out a draw out of this game, I'd be happy with that. But, yeah, it's... It'll be hard, I think. You know, I think this has got a Bolton win on it, for definite. That's some good play there from Scunthorpe, you know, with... Um, nice move it across the pitch, um, play it down the line for Green, Green's won a corner. But, you know, it's better, you know, passes into space. Just settled down a little bit this last five, ten minutes. We're actually playing some football. Not running around like headless chickens. Um, we've got another corner. Which is always a positive. It means we're up there under the pitch. And so Green's playing really well, actually. You know, he's tracking back. He's um, tackling his men, putting them under pressure. Then running forward. He's just won a free kick there. So that's the edge of the box. Um, he's having a good game for me. I wouldn't say we deserve it if we do score. But, you know, you take it, don't you? Deserved or not. I headed it out for a corner, but, um, you know, it was a good free kick into a dangerous area. We just couldn't get onto it. Bolton did. Put it out. Go on. Oh! My days! It was so close. Oh, it's been headed across there from the near post. And on oh, right, he's missed it at the end there, though, and put it wide. But, you know, it's as close as we've come to anything in this game. It was well worked. Just unfortunate that we it didn't end up in the back of the net. Oh, we're playing better. We're looking better. Things have calmed down. I don't know whether we've, you know, players have picked up what they're meant to be doing now. I know I said before we just didn't know what we were doing running around headless chickens. Something's clicked and we are playing better. You know, I thought it was one of them games where we're just going to ride our luck until it runs out. But we're actually showing some attacking intent now. We're actually moving, we're finding players, players are looking a bit more comfortable in their positioning and on the ball. So, go on. Oh, go on. Oh. 
And Beeson's just put it over the bar there. Oh. But yeah, you know, we're getting chances at least now, which is something. It's half time, it's nil nil. Um, we started off quite badly actually, first 20, 25 minutes. We just didn't seem to know what we were doing, where we were meant to be playing as players. Um, you know, Bolton having ample amounts of time with the ball, lots of space, running at players, being allowed to run at players. Um, you know, there's a few mistakes at the back by all three defenders, um, mistimed headers, missed headers, slips. Um, but yeah, it's nil-nil, it's half time, and Scunthorpe have come into it. We seem to have settled down with the formation that we're playing. We seem to be more comfortable in the positions that we're playing. And um, yeah, we've had two great chances as well. You know, probably the best chances from either team. And we've missed, obviously, it's why it's nil-nil. But uh, yeah, if we can carry on playing as we are doing now in the second half, then we could get something from this game, you know, more than a draw, you know, in fairness. But if Bolton could get shots on target, you know, they could be winning also. It's just, yeah, it's a big second half going on for both teams. So, yeah, fingers crossed. Scum thought we can hold out, we can um, get a draw or a win, keep the momentum going. As, you know, in the news recently, there's been talk of um, opening up football stadia again for different tiers. Tiers 1, I think, up to 4,000. Tiers 2, up to 2,000. Tier 3, nothing. I think looking at the figures, Scunthorpe will be in tier three, so we don't have to worry about going to games. But you know, what's what do people feel about it? Would you want to go back? Have you, you know, found it more comfortable to be sat on your armchair watching the football, keeping warm, being able to drink whatever you want to drink, eat whatever you want to eat? You know, for me, I'd love to be going back. It's just that that atmosphere. I say atmosphere. It's Scunthorpe. That buzz of just going to a game. You know, a night game under the lights, the sat in the freezing cold. You know, they're the things that you miss. You might not think you miss them, but you miss them. Yeah, and I'd probably be sat there freezing, thinking, I wish I was sat at home warm. But just to be at the game, hear the shouts, just everything, you know. So who knows what's going to happen. Whatever happens, just stay safe, be safe. You know, if you have to wear a mask, wear a mask in the ground. It's getting closer. You know, will we be back before the end of the season? I hope so. But till that time, if you can, keep... Um, getting it on iFollow, that helps the club out. I know it's £10 a game, but it's probably cheaper than actually going to the game. You know, when you think about it, you've got to get there, you've got to park, you've got your ticket. So, you know, if you can, it helps the club out as well. And, um, yeah, you get to watch Scunthorpe. What more could you not want? Yeah, so we're back underway. Second half has just started. Um, you know, hopefully we can carry on as we left that first half. <gasps> Oh my days, he puts a great ball in Crawford, a great ball. But luckily, Scunthorpe, fortunately for Scunthorpe, Bolton just can't get that touch to divert it into net. We're still attacking Bolton, they're still looking to get into this box, get the ball. Oh, that's great by Delfonso. Oh, that's it. It's been coming. That was just too easy for Delfonso, <laughs> way too easy. He's just, you know, step overs. He's, he's lost his man. By doing it, it's cut inside, laid it back across, and Kyoso's just side footed it into the far corner. You know, Howard's been left stranded in his net. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's been a really good play by Bolton this last um, few minutes. So it has been coming. Oh! He's had a shot there, and Jokes has saved it and um, spilt it, and there's nobody following him for it, so he's managed to gather that up. But yeah, ah, 20 odd minutes left of the game, but as it stands right now, Bolton are just looking dominating, you know, they've got the ball, they've got the space, they've got the shape. Some thought seems to have lost the way. They, like I said, they had that good 15 minutes in the first half, and, you know, this second half, they've not really shown anything of the same sort. So, kind of hoping that we have a good 15 minutes of this last, of this second half as well. Oh, it was so close. I don't know whether he meant to do it or not, but McAtee's, I think he's gone to cross it. And um, Gilks had to make a save, it looked like save crossbar, but I thought it was going to go in over his head. Ugh. We're playing it, but we just seem to be passing it backwards all the time. You know, Bolton closes down, put pressure on, and we just play it backwards and try and build again. We're not really getting anywhere, we're not penetrating. Will we get any chances? I'd say not. Will Bolton get some chances? I'd say so. Yeah. It's uh, it's been a long night. Um, Bedo's not looking comfortable for me. You know, he's um, been beaten there. 
and yeah, I don't know, earlier on in the game he was like stretching his knee out a little bit, just, you know, checking it out, so I don't know whether he's uh, done something to his knee and just, you know, a bit gingerly running on it or not, but he's got what passed way too easy. Okay, so we've had six minutes now, referee should blow his whistle, put us out of our misery. That's it, it's all over. Bolton win 1-0. Well played, Bolton. You know, they've played really well, actually. Got no gripes with how they've played or anything like that. They've not been lucky or anything. They've, you know, deserved the win, in all fairness. Yeah, the only gripe that I do have is the fact that we changed formation. You know, the last three games we played 4-4-2. We've got something from them. We changed the formation tonight. And there was no need to. You know, we're playing to other people, other teams' strength, we're not playing to ours. We need to play to our strengths, 4-4-2, it's the way forward. Anyway, Harrogate away next uh, week on Tuesday. So hopefully, you know, we can rest players and um, come back a bit fresher and hopefully pick something up from that game. Catch you all later.